So this is kind of building off of your episode, off of your article last week, but the Louis Vuitton and Nike Air Force One collab is actually set to release via So The Buys auction with limited stock. So the highly anticipated release of Virgil Abloh's Louis Vuitton Nike Air Force One low will kick off next week via an exclusive auction on So The Buys. So this renowned auction house confirmed that only 200 pairs of this date will make a debut and it's going to be pictured down below, but you guys are going to have a hard time seeing that, but they're going to be available through this like uh, auction for only 200 pairs, like I said, and this is an exclusive colorway for the Louis Vuitton Air Force One that's going to feature some premium leather upper. It's going to be donning a combination of the fashion labels, iconic monogram and Damier patterns. So these sneakers will come packaged in an orange Louis Vuitton pilot case that will be available only through this auction so the the uh the little suitcase. box that it comes yeah. in the suitcase is so sweet so there's actually like plenty of colorways kind of surfacing for this virgil abloh like louis vuitton air force like i saw recently like a black pair an orange pair a blue pair and those it sucks because or i guess it doesn't suck it is what it is uh because it's his own sneaker and they're going to be released mostly for friends and family in those colorways so we're not totally sure what the uh what the ones that might release to the public are because that was that was like i feel like the public's general consensus was yeah. like you were gonna have a shot for them like the dior jordan ones or something but before i get you know any deeper into this collab you know let me know your thoughts on this yeah i mean i love this collab i think it's definitely definitely one of the probably best sneaker collabs of 2022 and it's only january that's what we talked about and it's an amazing collab and i think i think it's just it's sad because this is like last like this is virgil's last work last on dance. it but also like what a kind of a great way to go out with you know this type of collab because man like people are going to be see i can't imagine seeing this pair like walking on the street someone wearing them i will be shocked i'd love to get one in hand but so i'm super excited and hopefully that actually comes through and we do get one in yeah hand. so it looks like the proceeds from this are going to be benefiting the virgil abloh postmodern scholarship fund oh, that's super and cool. that's to support uh black fashion students which is a really cool thing i'm glad that they're doing that all the proceeds are going to go to uh that fund and it's it's honestly right now it's estimated that each pair from the auction is going to sell between five thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars so it's most likely going to depend on the size and stock so like the uh size is like five five and a half 16 and 17 are only gonna have one pair those only have one pair available whenever they hit the auction multiple other sizes have two pairs i think the most is like around like an eight or a nine has like 20 pairs available mm -hmm. but other than that like just imagine you see someone with a super small foot wearing the shoe if it's first off it's a whole new discussion do you ever put that shoe on your foot no or does that go straight to a trophy <laughs> no case? that's a, that's that's an art if it's if it comes with that briefcase and everything no it's an art piece for sure can you imagine having that display yeah can you imagine if we got one it would have to be available first off because of, yeah. of course we're not going to be able to bid up five to fifteen thousand dollars you don't think so i know i so. can pull some strings no you couldn't <laughs> uh it, it, it's like uh very exclusive uh i can't remember exactly what you have to do to uh, become yeah. eligible to bid on the auction but can you imagine having one of those in hand oh i would the never be able to wear so it. nice I, I would love to see it it's the brown colorway it's wear just it. like so i mean i don't really like brown shoes like at all and it's what is that it's that louis vuitton it's that like louis yeah. vuitton yeah like the bag i mean the, it's it's definitely the, the height alone. of luxury didn't louis vuitton release like a super dope uh xbox too or am i thinking gucci gucci gucci, gucci, xbox. The gucci xbox man it is really cool what some these some high fashion these super high fashion brands they just come out and they just they know how to do it right man because they just go like they'll just like you know what we'll do a collab here we'll sprinkle a little collab and people just go nuts for it and do a little another one here i think it's super i mean i don't get it i honestly don't get the the whole high fashion thing but man they make some really no, nice I don't, collabs i don't get it either man you go to the mall and there's just people waiting outside of like the gucci stores and the stuff like that and i'm just like what is it the one that i really don't get i think it's swear it was louis vuitton like whenever i go to the mall and there's just people waiting outside i can't remember exactly what the name of it is but it's always just a line it's the mall dude there's like a hundred people in the mall and 80 of them are waiting to get into this store. I'm like, there's just no way. It looks okay. The stuff looks okay. The shoes look whack. The shoes look very whack. I don't know. I don't Balenciaga know. and stuff like that. Like, like I can never, I've never you, gotten on Balenciaga I, before. I'll never understand it. We talked about it before on and off camera. I just, I'll never understand it. I think the only way to really understand it is to just, just have enough money to just, just, to just buy do it. one. I just feel to like, buy one yeah, what we and always be like, talk oh, about. I get it. 
I get it now. I don't think I don't think I get it. What we always talk about is like, I think you just have to have too much money sitting around. Or no, no, no. Uh, like if you were gonna go somewhere where people are gonna know what you're wearing. Right. Like oh, is he's it got all some Gucci. Thing? I it's, don't know. It's gotta be. That's kind of what it gets to whenever you get up to that point because the small, the lower priced fashion brands, not knock off, but make similar looking stuff to the higher quality stuff. Right. But it. It's just not the same thing right so, and that's literally kind of what it comes down to it's interesting i don't know yeah but yeah back to the the whole collab man i'm i would love to get one in hand i th- i think that would be an amazing... easily in the running for even though it's early it's easily in the running it's one of those shoes that shaking. it's gonna get down I'd to be the shaking shoe. to touch it well if we're talking like shoe of the year like think we talked about this off cam too like once you get to like december you forget everything that happened from yeah. january to may it's gonna be hard to forget like about August. this shoe. It's, this one's gonna linger yeah of course especially with the tragic shoe. passing of him like it's just it's just gonna be out there yeah dude's gonna live on forever i know hopefully but-